Okay, so you're home the day of the procedure. Uh, this is a good time to take a pain medication even if you're not in pain. Local anesthesia has been injected during your case, and when it wears off, you may feel either a slight headache or some pain around your incision or around your nose. Um, it's also important you take an antibiotic. An antibiotic was given to you prior to surgery. Uh, we want to continue antibiotics afterwards. Um, a simple mnemonic for patients to remember is the RICE mnemonic. The RICE mnemonic stands for rest, which means the more activity you have, the more your blood pressure is going to increase, and you're going to have um, more swelling. And ICE stands for applying ICE. Applying this will decrease swelling. Really critical in the first three days to ICE it as much as you can, including through the, at least the first night, if not the second night as well. This makes a huge difference in swelling and bruising. Compression. And here's the, the caps being applied to compress the nose to help decrease swelling. And finally, elevation. You're going to want to sleep with your head elevated above your heart. The other important thing to remember is to um, take care of the incision. If you had an external approach, you're going to want to apply ointment to the incision. This is going to really help improve um, uh, blood from going on the incision in, in that area. If there is some blood on the incision, you can apply hydrogen peroxide to the area. Uh, you may have a mustache dressing that was placed after surgery, and this dressing can be changed as needed if it soaks up with blood. It's normal for blood to occur and drain after your nose, um, and this is part of the healing process. Uh, if you do sneeze, sneeze with your mouth open. And remember, don't blow your nose, but you can use nasal saline if your nose is stuffy at this point.